Hey guys, this is April. She's been working with Peachy Babies for a while and she wanted to do a pack and order with me. This is an order for Kayla and she got a Scoops Ahoy waffle, a Squishmallow scoop, and a ton of other fun slimes. We added a ton of fun extras like a little wristband, this cute little squishy and eraser, and an activator pen to activate your slimes if they get sticky. Then we're gonna close her box, tape it up, and get it ready to ship off. Loki, I love our boxes because they're reusable. You can totally turn them inside out and then just use them as boxes to hold stuff. Then we're gonna put it in a bag and take it to ship. Thank you so much for your order. Pack my biggest ever sticker order with me. Our amazing return customer, Jordan, bought 21 of our stickers on top of the one she's already purchased before. I can't believe how much love and support you guys have all given me. I'm literally just making videos that make me happy, so I'm glad that you like watching them too. I'm just decorating the outside of her envelope, um, packing everything together, giving her a few freebies, of course, and I hope you love your new stickers, Jordan. Let's pack another order together. So this order is from Izzy from Las Vegas, and she ordered Snow Fairy Bomb, Dunkaroo, Cake, and Cookies and Cream Dough. After the slimes are pulled off the shelf, we put them in a box along with stickers, a cute little wristband that says the Slime Club, an activator pen, and then squishies. Seal it shut, add the label, and it's ready to go to the post office. I hope you love it. Let's pack a henna order together. First, I take some tissue paper and fold it up so that it'll fit into my box, which I've already stamped with some cute designs. Place it inside. Then I take some crinkle paper and make it all cozy with the henna cones, and then I close it up, which I realized is all really hard to do with one hand. Then we're going to close the lid, put a little reminder that you want to freeze your cones ASAP, a little thank you sticker, and a thank you card. Her name was absolutely perfect, so I felt like I really had to found that. Then put an aftercare card inside with everything else in a bubble mailer, seal it on up, and then put the label and one last reminder to freeze your cones. Let's pack a slime order together. So this order is from Hannah from Texas, and she ordered a blue tie-dye tea. This one is my favorite, good choice by the way, it is so drizzly, a Charlie's cold brew, and then two rose quartz clusters. So to pack this order, we will first fold one of our boxes, throw those weird little pieces from the box away, and then we'll start getting our extras to put inside. First an activator pen to activate your slimes if they're sticky, some little erasers, and some stickers. Then we add all of our slimes to the box. Close it up, add the sticker, and thank you so much for your order. Come fix the slime I almost ruined with me. Not a big deal, but I did accidentally overactivate the slime and I thought it was kind of fun to watch, so I wanted to include that. But this is a Bingsu base, so we're gonna make it extra soft and then we're gonna add a ton of Bingsus. I don't know why, but I find this part so satisfying to watch. And then since this is Disney Crunch, we added a bunch of Disney females. Let's pack my biggest order, but first let me tell you how thankful I am for all of you guys that have been ordering recently. So this girl, she got 17 jersey hijabs. And that's almost all of my collection right there. She got a bunch of ribbed jersey hijabs and a bunch of jersey hijabs. I'm also adding these gifts for her. A chiffon hijab, some hijab magnets, and a hijab cap. Adding some candy, because why not? And my thank you card with a handwritten note and just securing the final ribbon and here it is. Hi my loves, pack a very large order with us. So this order is going to our girl Tia. She has been such a loyal customer since we launched. So she got our Ocean Eyes bundle. She also got a yellow glass tumbler. So we are just wrapping those up in some bubble wrap and some tissue paper. She got both of our new palettes, so this is just the Fallen in Love palette and then Smoke and Mirrors, and I'm just going to wrap those up in tissue paper. She got two of our full line lashes and our new Cotton Candy lip scrub. She also got our new 10-piece brush set. Look how gorgeous those are. For being on our live, she got an exclusive lash. And for being just such a loyal customer, we also threw in a new lip scrub as well as our cute little pumpkin blender. She got some spoolies and then her two straws for her mason jar in her cup. She'll get a business card, a care card, and then I wrote her a little note. Thank you, Tia. 
the cups are here the cups are here the cups are here well the first shipment so come pack an order with me yeah there's a lot also here's how i drink out of my cup people are wondering pinkies up bitches so i pre-measure them before i cut six go on each side these are much more temperamental to weed out this happens to so many petals so i have to cut out extras which is fine it just takes me a little longer I'm so excited to get all these cups out to you guys. I want to get all 50 done tonight. The first 50 were people who paid priority shipping. And then I go in reverse order for the people who have been waiting the longest. Also, let's find out who really watches my whole video and pays attention to what I'm saying. Because this is a video also for a 50k giveaway, you guys. Comment a sunflower and tag a friend in the comments to enter to win a free cup. I also have two giveaways going on on my instagram one isn't posted yet but the other one the winner's chosen this saturday y'all love free stuff you got great taste love you guys bye Hey, I'm black. You follow me, I follow back. And that's facts. You my homie and I got your back. We got talent. Everybody need to see it. So with that being said, I'm going to repeat it. But sing it. Hey, I'm black. Hi. So I just want to show you guys something weird. Um, I make planters out of these mini basketballs. Um, this is me cutting them up, getting them ready to be shipped. But for some reason, every time I get to the orange basketball, um, this is the top part of the orange um, When you lift the flap of the inside you can kind of see what I Don't even know what that is, but this is this is not the first time this has happened to me. And it's pretty cool I wasn't going to talk about this issue, but another TikTok creator inspired me to do this. As you guys know, my boba soap went viral, and I'm very happy because it's something that I created and worked really hard on, and I was really happy to be getting recognition. However, many people have been copying my design and calling it their own. Honestly, this really hurts me, and I want to spread awareness about this because I'm not the only small business owner that has to go through this. Having an Etsy shop was something that I was never proud of. I was always embarrassed to tell anybody from school or even sometimes my family. I thought what I was doing was weird and no one would like it. That they would think I was doing something stupid and that it was going to be unsuccessful. I thought people would think, that's so weird, what is she doing? It's never going to work. Until it did. Recently I've been getting so many kind messages from people all over the world 
telling me that they love my boba soap. It's made me so incredibly happy. And for the first time, I don't feel embarrassed to be doing this. It's something I'm now really, really proud of. And looking back on it, I feel embarrassed for even thinking that it was embarrassing. What I'm doing is so cool, so unique, and I love doing it. So if you do something that is out of the box, out of the ordinary, it might be hard to feel proud of it. What you're doing is amazing and keep going. The work is always worth it. You have officially entered small business TikTok, where no purchase is necessary, but always appreciated. And if you want to show us some love, simply like and comment on this video. And of course, don't forget to follow us. When I first launched my business, even some of my closest friends had nothing to say. They didn't necessarily support me, meaning like or share my content or even ask me how it was going with the brand. They just kind of, you know, stayed silent. And at first I took offense to it, but then I quickly realized it is normal human behavior. They had never seen someone try to accomplish something so ambitious. It was just easier for them to stay quiet and hope that it When I first launched my business, even some of my closest friends had nothing to say. They didn't necessarily support me, meaning, like or share my content or even ask me how it was going with the brand. They just kind of, you know, stayed silent. And at first I took offense to it, but then I quickly realized it is normal human behavior. They had never seen someone try to accomplish something so ambitious. It was just easier for them to stay quiet and hope that it wouldn't go anywhere significant. And then I started to not take it personal. I just kept going and going and if this happens to you you'll find that you will meet people and friends that get it that know where you're coming from that believe in you that want to help ones that cheer you on and trust me when it comes friends like that you grow with them you evolve with them 